Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another video. If you guys saw the last video on the Calcutta Conquest, you guys know this one was coming. Uh, if you guys missed the last video, I'll leave a link in the description. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, I would be lying if I said I wasn't excited for this one. The Antares is one of my favorite reels and it is the flagship of all Shimano bait casting reels. This is as good as it gets for small bait casters from Shimano. This is the flagship um, and the DC version of the flagship. A few years ago, uh, you guys might have seen the video that I made for the Antares A. In today's video, we have the DC version. So let's talk about the Shimano Antares history. Um, the first Antares was released in 1998. Uh, it was actually a spin-off of the Scorpion and uh, the Antares um, eventually became uh, the flagship um, and it's named after, it's named after uh, the first magn magnitude star in the uh, constellation of Scorpius. Um, so it came from the Scorpius line and here we go. It is now the flagship reel of Shimano. Over the years, they've um, upgraded it, of course. There's different versions now or uh, different variations, the regular, the DC version, uh, even the Monster Drive versions too as well. Um, since the first models, they've always had this kind of a finish. Um, all of them have looked just like this. And if you look at these closely, I'll show a series of them here. These are what they look like over the last, I don't know, 25 years uh, of the reel. Um, so they've come a long way in terms of size, if you look at it, um, but it's always had the nice same finish and it's always been the flagship and it's always been super durable, super reliable, and it has a very, very reputable name. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about the reel itself, this one in particular. Um, talk about some of the features and technology. The first feature is that it has a Hagani body. Uh, for people who are new to Shimano, um, Hagani is basically what they describe a particular metal blend um, that gives it a high rigidity so that way it doesn't flex or bend a lot in the metal, if, if any. Um, and uh, that is made out of like uh, magnesium and aluminum. So this is a um, magnesium aluminum bodied reel. Uh, another feature is that it has micro um, micro module gears. So what that means is that the uh, the gears um, have very very fine teeth and that is going to help uh, increase the number of contact points between each gear giving you a smoother uh, smoother reel every single time. Um, can I get it to focus here a little bit better? But uh, that is the micro module gearing. Uh, another feature is the MGL spool. This one has the MGL spool. I'm gonna catch it right there. If I can get the focus. Perfect. It's got the MGL spool. Uh, of course, a lot of Shimano guys are already aware uh, of what the MGL is. Uh, but basically, um, it it uh, is a, a special spool that Shimano has that um, gives you the ability to cast lighter lures, heavier lures, gives it a wider range and gives you the ability to not have as much um, uh, issues and easier to cast because of the low inertia that is the, the, the spool has and it makes it easier to cast. Uh, last but not least, one of the big features, uh, of course, is the DC. And this separates um, this from the Antares A that I have. And so let's talk about the braking system here. So it has four internal braking um, modes, and then it has eight external on the outside, uh, as you see here. Um, the inside, let's take a look and let's open it up here. The way you open this is very similar to the Conquest push down, pops up, and the side plate stays on 
at all times. So if you take a quick peek here, it looks kind of messy and hairy, doesn't it? Um, so let's take a look at it. And these are the internal braking uh, settings here. And very unique on how this really works. At the bottom here is really where the internals and this is where the external is. So the internals here has four different types of modes. Um, it has the FL for fluorocarbon, the P, um, uh, which is basically like a, I don't know, uh, like a floral PE, they, they have the floral N for nylon, and then the X for extreme long cast. So, uh, sorry, sorry, P for monofilament, N for nylon, which is the, um, the, the braid. So basically the way that this thing works is FL is the fluorocarbon and it goes from um, the strongest amount of brakes to the least amount of brakes. So you have the floral, mono, the braid, and then this is basically a uh, what they call the X for extreme long cast. Um, again, this is awesome because this is attached to side plate. So if you're on the water, you're in a lake, you don't have to worry about this thing falling off. So close it and let's take a look at the external. So the external has several different adjustments. You have one, all the way up eight dials basically. It doesn't have numbers here, but it's got eight dials and it goes from minimum all the way to maximum. So you have a pretty good range of tunability, uh, if that even is a word, I just created it if it's not, um, of um, you have a lot wide, a very wide range of tunability uh, in terms of your anteriors and casting. So not only do you have four internal uh, adjustments, you also have eight external too as well. So you have a lot to play with and this reel is designed to cover a wide range of different applications, which is great. Um, let's talk about the other spec. Um, it has 12 ball bearings. Uh, it also has a 42 miller me millimeter handle, uh, weighs in at 7.7 .7 ounces and it houses 130 yards of 12 pound all the way up to 80 yards of 20 pound um, test line. Come in three different gear ratios um, and I'm going to put them here at the screen. But uh, it's interesting uh, and it might just be because it's a DC model and it's a JDM model. But the gear models are not very particular to US market if that makes sense. So if you're familiar with the US market. Uh, they have the regular, um, right, the regular models, the reels. So if it's a titanium, it's usually a six point whatever to one. If it's a HG, it's a, usually a seven point something to one. And it's a, if it's an XG, then it's a eight something to one. This comes in a little different. Um, so these are, they come in a five, six to one. They come in a seven to one. And they come in a 7.8 to one. So a little bit different than what we're used to in the U.S. market. Um, but that's just probably because that's just designed for, you know, for, for you know, it's a JDM reel, so it's designed for them, which I know it's always a little bit different. Um, but that is a little different uh, compared to what we're used to here in, in the U.S. Um, and so if I didn't make it clear earlier, again, this is a, U, this is a JDM reel. Um, it's not available in the U.S. market. So if you want to purchase this reel, you can get it on Digitaka. Um, you can get it on um, Asian Fishing Portal. So... Overall, guys, um, I can't wait to get on the water with this reel. Um, not only did I love the Antares A, I also love the castability that it has. Um, uh, but not only that, now it has the DC version. Um, you know, so super excited because I love my DC reels, the Corrado, uh, the SLX. I mean, they are phenomenal reels, and I can't wait to put the Antares basically. Uh, what I have a into the DC and really, you know, go go to town with this. So. This is going to be kind of um, this and the Calcutta is going to be probably the top two reels that I will be using this year in my videos. Um, and um, let's get a couple looks at it while we have a moment here. Um, one thing I did notice is that it doesn't have a clicking drag like you know, like some of the um, like the Stees and, and the Zillion uh, that they have for Daiwa uh, or like the Conquest. The Conquest does have a clicking drag. This one does not, which is fine. No worries about it. The only downside, I think, to this reel is that it is going to leave a ton of fingerprints. Um, guys, if you guys can look at it closely, I mean, I wiped this down before the video started and it's got a ton of fingerprints on it, which isn't terrible. It just, you know, got to wipe it. You know, I'm a very big 
clean freak. So when it comes to my gear, um, it's got to be pristine. Um, you guys have seen my my other videos about my real covers and all that kind of nature. So you know how big of a sticker I am for my gear. Um, I don't like a single scratch on it. I just this is the way I am. Uh, I like it to be very meticulous, very clean, very neat. So any kind of scratch really annoys me. So. Um, overall guys can't wait to use it um, and I know it's gonna work fabulous it's gonna cast like a dream I'm um, seeing some videos on it already um, if you guys like this video make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button it definitely helps support the channel uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for some um, some close-up shots and uh, thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys in the next video